Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I got the Galaxy S8 with me over here and you know this phone was released one year ago by Samsung. But even though this phone is so old, it's still a really really great phone and it's still a really good decision to buy this phone. But the problem here is that this phone hasn't got all of the new features. So you know the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, both of them are the new flagships of Samsung and both of them have new features which the Galaxy S8 hasn't got. And because of that, we're going to install a custom ROM, a Galaxy S9 ROM for our Galaxy S8 to get all of the Galaxy S9 features on our S8, so stay tuned for that. So here we are guys, so I will split this video into two parts as always, so in the first part of this video we are going to install this ROM, I'm going to show you all the steps which you need to do, and in the second part of this video we are basically going to take a short look on this ROM and we are also going to take a look at all of the new features which we got together with this ROM, so now let's start with the installation process. So right guys, to install this ROM there are two things which you need to do first, so at the first place you need to download the two files which I will provide in the description of this video, so you just need to download them and you also need to install TWRP and yeah, so that's it. So if you don't know how to install TWRP, there are lots of different videos on YouTube showing you how to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Right, so now let's start with the installation process. Right, so at the first place you will need to turn off your phone, so let's do that quickly. Then you will need to press the volume up button, the big speed button and the volume uh, and the power button at the same time to boot into the TWRP recovery. And then you will need to release these buttons when you see this logo. So here we are in, TW, in the TWRP section, so the first thing here is to go to the wipe option here and to do a normal factory reset. So with doing that you will basically lose all your apps, all your settings and uh, all your contacts etc. But you won't lose your internal storage, so you won't lose your photos and everything else which you have stored in your internal storage. Right. Then you will need to go back and go to the install option and locate your ROM. So in my case it's in the it's in the internal storage, so just press on there and locate your ROM. So this here is the ROM, just press on it and swipe to flash. So here we are in the aroma installer, so here um, you will need to say agree with this, then you will need to press on next, here you have some information about the ROM, then you need to press next again, here you can uh, select if you want to do a clean install or a dirty ins install, so you basically have to say clean install and yeah, press next. Here you will need to select your CSC, so I will need to use the one of Germany, which is in here and here then press next. Here we can install some features, so um, I will need these over here, so let me select them quickly. Yeah, that's it. Now say next. Here we can enable some build.prop tweaks, just like the multi-user multi-user multi option and the image quality, press next. Here you can also do some uh, or enable some CSC mods now, let's skip all that. So here you can change your roof method, your sound mod, so let's select the stock dual speaker audio. Here you can enable or disable Viper for Android and yeah, so as you can see there are a lot of different things over here and you can also change the theme from here but I will leave it um, by default here. Then press next and the ROM will just install. So this process could take like two or three minutes, you just need to wait until it's finished. So as you can see the installation process is finished now. Now you will need to say next again and say reboot system and if 
TWRP asks you to install the TWRP app, you basically need to say do not install. So now you may think that the installation process is finished already, but there's another step which we need to do after the phone is um, turned on. So now let's the phone uh, boot up. So as you can see the phone booted up now and now you will need to turn off the phone again. Then we will need to boot to the, to the TWRP to, to the TWRP recovery again. So press the volume up button, the big speed button and the power button again. So here in the CWRP section you will need to, go, need to go to the install option here and install the OTA update for this ROM. After this is finished you basically need to say reboot system and say do not install and now we are finished with the installation of this ROM. So now you just need to wait until the phone boots up. So as you can see the phone booted up now, now you will need to set in or give in your pin, so let me do that quickly. So here we are, this is the uh, setup screen, so now let's set up this phone. But let me change the language first, let's say English, United Kingdom, okay. And here we are. So this here is the Galaxy S9 ROM for our Galaxy S8. As you can see, we don't have the search bar at the top here in the launcher because we don't, we didn't have, we didn't installed, um, we haven't installed the S Finder app. So um, as you can see, the app drawer looks much cleaner now. And you can also see that you got the Galaxy S9 live wallpaper here, which is really amazing. So you can see this. Um, purple live animation over there, live wallpaper over there, or this infinity wallpaper, how Samsung is calling it. And you can see that you got a new animation there. And if we go to the Teams section here, you can also see that you got a few other wallpapers here. So you got the same one in different colors, which is really amazing. So yeah, looks really nice. Another nice thing is that there are a few new um, options here in the home screen settings. So you can disable the portrait mode only. So now you can also use the phone in landscape mode. And here you can see that this is the landscape mode of the Galaxy S9 Plus, which is really amazing when you are uh, holding your phone in the landscape mode or if you basically like this. So it's a really nice feature in my opinion and yeah. So here you can see that the ROM is based on Android 8.0. It's not 8.1 unfortunately because there is no 8.1 Samsung phone. Um, the Samsung Experience version is 9.0 just like the same um, version on this stock ROM. Um, and the Android security patch level is the 1st of April 2018, which is really, really great. So as you can see today, we have the 28th of April, April, and yeah, it's, it's the same month. So another nice thing is that this ROM has a screen capture or a screenshot button in the toggle section over here, but you can also record the screen together with it, which is really amazing. So. Um, you can basically use this here as a normal screen recorder, so you don't need to, do, to download any screen recorder from the, um, from the Play Store. So as you can see, the screen recording uh, works just fine here, so here is the video. And yeah. So unfortunately, this ROM hasn't got the Galaxy S9 camera on board together with these nice uh, emojis. But as you can see, the camera works just fine over here and you got a lot of different modes downloaded already and a lot of filters here. So unfortunately, you won't get the Galaxy S9 cam camera. So here in the advanced features, there's also something called finger sensor gestures. So together with this here, you can basically pull down the notification panel with your 
um, finger over here which is really nice and the nice thing here is that you can pull down the notification panel twice so as you can see I've pulled it down once and this is the second one and in the stock ROM you were only able to pull down the notification panel once so you, you were not able to pull it down twice so this is also a nice thing which is really nice to see so now let's talk about the performance of this ROM. So you won't get the best performance together with this ROM. So you know, as you can see, I haven't installed a lot of apps here. You also get this strange YouTube over there, which looks a bit different than the normal YouTube. But as you can see, I have installed no apps over here. This is completely stock and completely fresh. And even though I have installed so less apps or not even as one single app, this ROM uses quite a lot of RAM. So you can see that um, it uses like uh, two gigabytes of the whole RAM and only 1.4 gigabytes are uh, available. And uh, as you can see, I haven't even installed one single app. So the ROM is completely fresh. And even though I haven't installed any apps, it uh, already uses so much RAM. So you can clean it from here quickly. And even after cleaning the RAM, we only got 1.5 GB free, which is, you know, it's not the worst ROM I've ever seen, but it has definitely not got the best RAM usage. The battery life is also not the best uh, I've ever seen, so yeah, so, you know, this is a Galaxy S9 port. It is not based on the stock firmware of the Galaxy S8, which would be the best for the Galaxy S8 uh, in terms of performance. But um, yeah, it's still okay and you will definitely get one full day with the battery if you don't use, use your phone that much. So right guys, so this should be it. Um, so you know, there are not that big differences between the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S8. Um, and yeah, so as you can see the Bixby button hasn't got any function because we haven't installed the Bixby feature so you can also disable Bixby which is really amazing this is something which I forgot to mention and um, yeah this should be it if you liked the video give a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give this like as always and peace out